Welcome to a brief tutorial on stories and scripts found in the WordPower files. What are stories and scripts? They are ready to use buttons and pages set up in the WordPower files. They are set up to store writing of a client. You can import the pages into other files or recreate on your own. These pages allow for building stories and the ability to retell the story over and over. You can use it to store beginning scribbling or writing. You can also create a social script for a client to use in specific scenarios. Where do I find the stories and scripts? They're set up in the WordPower files and you will find them under groups. Depending on the file that you're using, from 20 locations to 108, it may not appear on the first page of groups. You may have to use the arrow over to find it. Let's take a look at how it works. This is the WordPower 20 Simply file. If I tap on the Groups button, I'll notice that I have to arrow over to find stories and scripts. Here are my stories and scripts. And there are nine story templates available. Once I tap on a story, I would be able to save my message to a a button here if I had something in my speech display bar. Let's go ahead and take a look at one of the files where I've made a copy in order to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my WordPower 60 file and I'm going to find the location of my stories and scripts here. So I'll tap on groups and I see stories and scripts are down in the lower right hand corner. Again I have the nine story templates available to me. For this particular instance, I already know that my client went on a field trip, so I want to give them a place to store the story that they have. So I'm going to go ahead and modify this. So I'm going to go into edit mode, look at my story one and create the sequence for them to build the story, so about their field trip. So I will go ahead and edit that button. In my label I'll type in field trip and my message. I will type something else. Let me tell you about my field trip. And if I want, I can go ahead and add a picture. So it's going to search. If I tap on search, it will search for field trip. And there's one that I can use. So I'll select that and put that in. So I'm using the editor for this program, but this would work the same on a device. I'll go back out of edit mode. So now, as the student, maybe I made this sentence. We went to the farm. We went to the farm. I can now store that on the first button of my field trip. So I'm going to tap Save Message here it's going to uh, alert me that I'm going to save text to another button and it puts that into the button there. So let's make another sentence. I pick picked A. So I know that I wanted to give the opportunity to talk about a pumpkin that was picked so under food and under fruits and vegetables I have already edited the button to allow for pumpkin. So I added pumpkin to my vocabulary. Pumpkin. I picked a pumpkin. I'm going to go ahead and store that to the next button. So save my message. Again, I get my alert and I can put that there. Last sentence. Can we make a face. Can we make a face? So let's store that. Save message. Now if I wanted to I could always add to this and I could add pictures to this once the, the story was complete. If I wanted to keep the story and I did not want to have it edited later I would go ahead and take away this save message button. So I can simply copy this blank button 
and paste it here so that I no longer can edit this story. I won't be saving anything over that print. Go back out of edit mode. If I wanted to be able to delete print from a, a button, I can go into stories and scripts. I'm going to go ahead and save this message here and I really didn't want it there. If I clear my speech display bar and save the message again, it clears out what's in my button. Let's take a look at what it would look like on the device. So I'm using a NovaChat 8. I've already transferred that file that I was using, the WordPower 60, to my NovaChat. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. This is the 60 location file. When I tap on Groups, Stories and Scripts, I see my field trip. If I compose all of the messages, We went to the farm. I picked a pumpkin. Can we make a face? If I have the appropriate settings on that allow me to share what's in my speech display bar, I can press and hold on my speech display bar, hit share, open my Gmail, that's the account that I have set up, and so we can see that I can then send it to somebody. So I'll go ahead and send it to another email. We can see that, that those three sentences that I placed in the speech display bar are automatically copied there. I'm going to go ahead and type in something for field trip for the subject. And then I can hit send. That message will then be sent to my other email and I would be able to print it from there. For those that might be able to print from their devices, if they have a Android compatible printer set up to print from their Android device, I can also hit copy all, exit out, <clears throat> go to a notepad or memo, and I'll create a new one, and I can paste what was in my speech display bar there and save that. So if this was the message that I wanted to print, I would be able to print that to a compatible printer. I don't have a compatible printer here, so I won't be able to do that. Something that you may have noticed is that the button leading into our story and script page didn't speak. So when I programmed this field trip in, you notice that I put another message, I edited the, the uh, message field, and it didn't speak. That's because under Actions, I only have a Navigate, so I would have to add a speak me speech message action if I wanted it to speak. So I will do that. I'm going to change the order here. So I'm going to move that navigate down. I'll have the speech message first and then it will navigate to my page. Tap OK. Tap out of edit mode. Let me tell you about my field trip. And now I have the ability to give somebody the introduction to my field trip. This concludes our brief tutorial on using stories and scripts. I hope you'll do some practice with writing. Thanks.